Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video training series brought to you by DRTVideos.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can use formulas in crystal reports. Yes, that's right. Right now, we are here in the visualstudio.com. Not visualstudio.com, that's visualstudio.net. Okay. Uh, I, get, I keep getting confused. Uh, now, this is our report uh, which we have created in, my, uh, in the previous video. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, quickly go ahead and run this uh, report and you will have an idea of what I'm talking about here okay this is the report and uh, this is the report header and uh, all the products are categorized by the, uh, the the category okay and this is the unit in stock and the unit price for these products and these products are under the category beverages and uh, likewise these products are under the category called confections Okay, and this is and this is the subtotal of uh, of the unit price for the, for these products. Now, what we are what we want is uh, uh, we want to have uh, the quantity that is less than twenty to be displayed in red. Basically, we want the quantity to be highlighted if it is less than any number of quantities, so that you know instead of going and checking, it will uh, you know it will stand out. Okay, and we can tell right away just by looking at the report that this product has a quantity less than 10 or less than 20. So let's apply, let's do that using a formula. And uh, you can always, you know, go and uh, create a new formula. But there's also a better way. You know what? Let's, uh, you know, give it a proper name. Now give it a spacing so that we know that. Okay, now that's much easier to read. Okay, we can also, you know, align it. Well, I'll show you that in my next video. Uh, okay. okay, let's not worry about that. Let's, uh, yeah, the formula. So if you if you right click the uh, field and just choose the format objects, go to the font tab, and right next to the color. Now the current color is black. Uh, and we want the formula to be applied here. So I already have the formula in my clipboard. I'll just hit Control V to paste it, and this is the formula right here. So this is saying table name dot product name. If it is less than twenty, then show it in red color, or else just show it in the plain black color. So this is the product name, uh, the table name dot units in stock. If it is less than 20, just display that in red. It's very self-explanatory. Well, before uh, hitting save and close, always it's a good practice to check the formula if it is, you know, if it is without any errors or not. Sure enough, there are no errors in this formula because it is just a, you know, two-line or three-line formula. So everything is good. I'll just hit save and close. And as you can see, the color of this formula has been changed or, or of this button because it tells us that uh, there has there is a formula uh, that is associated with this uh, property. I'll just hit OK and uh, let's run the report and let's see if the formula works as uh, expected. Now it is pulling the data from the database and uh, sure enough we get all the uh, quantities that is uh, less than 20. 17 is less than 20. That looks good. Uh, things are looking good uh, so far. Let's go to the next page and let's see if it works. Yes, 9, 14 is less than uh, 20. So, yeah, that's the easiest way. And by looking at it, you can even, you know, make it uh, bold or you can, you know, do lots of things with it. So, there's the power of, uh, you know, using the uh, format object. And uh, there, are very, there are many other things that you can do. Currently, this is the number tab. You can just uh, control how your value will be displayed. So uh, that, that was a very simple and quick video uh, demonstrating how we can use formulas to uh, format the values and you can just control how the value will be displayed in your report. So that was it and uh, thanks for watching this video.